Pay no job is you know 100 percent guaranteed. It's a little more set, like where you're located in college. It's a little more kind of like you know one year you can be in uh, Oregon and next year you can be in Tallahassee. How does that kind of is that factor well, in my wife told me uh, luckily she she's happy to be back in her state. So you know when I got the call, she she looked at me and nodded her head. So obviously she want to be on this side of the country. So you know, I'm gonna try to do everything I can to be in front of her. I can. The fact that um, a lot of you guys coach high school football, does that kind of bring a little hunger that maybe guys who kind of had an easier path getting to this level my dad? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, as a high school coach, you had to do it all. You had to line the field, you had to wash the clothes. So you have a personal personal thing as far as appreciating where you at right now. I'm not saying that other guys that came up the ranks a little, a little easier would not, but for, for high school coaches, it's a little more, a little more, a little more stick to it. That's for us right now, coming from high school coach. I know you talked about before. Could you take us back through the how you formed a relationship with Coach Tiger originally? It was just when he he came recruiting, or how well, obviously I met Coach Tiger through recruiting, and uh, he came and uh, he was signing a, a linebacker out of Miami Central. And, uh, we just started talking, and, and, and things fell in the right way. Needed to fall, and he said one day if he get an opportunity to hire me, hire me. And obviously, a year later, he came back and got out of high school. With the guys you had come to Florida State from Central, Dallas, I mean, did that kind of have you feel a little bit different about Florida State than maybe you had before or at any other point? I always had a sweet, sweet spot for Florida State because, you know, I knew some of the Eddie Grands and, and the guys that was on staff that, that coached me in college and, and some of the guys that I knew uh, growing up. So I always had a passion and, and, and to come here. And that's what some of my kids were here. So it was a great thing for me to come back here and be, be a part of it. Coach, um, I think the pressure on kind of allowing players to play up to four games. How do you think that will change how you manage the tight end? Uh, obviously, we, we have one uh, true freshman in there, it's Cam, and uh, he's, he's pressing for some uh, viable reps right now. So, uh, saying he'll be red shirted, you can't tell until the next couple of weeks how uh, it'll shake out. Uh, yeah, but just with the rule allowing him to, you know, if you, yeah, if you have yeah, a obviously, play. obviously, he can play four games and then we want to red shirt the club. So, but again, he can help the strong teams, whether it be on special teams, whether it be back receiver, whether it be a tight end, he can help the strong teams. So. A lot of people talk about recruiting Miami. Obviously, there's so much talent there, but as a, no, you know it from both sides as a coach, and also how much does it give you an advantage the fact that you have those relationships that maybe somebody coming from outside might not have? Well, obviously, it always helped, you know, because you know, being from that, you build the relationships and you know some of the families you grew up with. We went to high school with them, so as sort of got a guy coming from out of state that won't have that connection but in that circle. So, you know, part of it was hard for them. But for me, it's, it's always been a blessing for me to go back home and recruit. You guys have several coaches that have recruited that area, though, right? Yes. On the staff? Yes. So is that I mean, Yeah, yeah. A lot of the guys that recruit that area are on the staff right now to have the relationship with the coaches in South Florida and stuff like that. So that's a great plus for us. Yeah.